All right. Um, this is probably a video that I knew that I was going to make at some point. When I came on to YouTube, I did not know what was going to happen. I wasn't sure who I was going to be. The only reason I came out is because of a gentleman called Pat Condell, uh, who I do find funny on occasion, but um, I came out because he, he basically said my God's a joke or our God's a joke. That was my first video post. <coughs> uh, I have a deep faith in, in what I call the Father, my Father. Uh, I don't, the, the more I search, you know, the less I know, let's put it that way. But uh, the uh, Christians are leaving by droves as they look at my last video. And that's fine. Um, I expected I expected that somewhat. I'm just going to give you a little bit of a background on me, okay? I work uh, at a university. Um, when I got the job at this university, I was a Jehovah's Witness. And... Uh, even though I was a Jehovah's Witness, I still understood that they only they only spoke about one half of the you know New Testament and Old Testament. And uh, you know my my quest through Catholicism, uh, through being a born again Christian, through uh, being into Eastern philosophy. <coughs> a lot of people uh, you know they'll use that scripture you know you're blowing around like the wind, but uh, that same that same metaphor is also used for wisdom. Uh, there's a professor at uh, the university that I work at that, uh, you know, he, he wears sandals 24-7, uh, you know, big ponytail, but he's got this really great plaque, this quote on his door, and it says, all those that wander are not lost. So um, I'm here to tell you that I've been searching my entire life for God, period. I don't, you know, I don't even like using the word God anymore. I like to use, you know, the creator or, you know, yeah, I would just say creator. But I'm going to tell you, uh, before, you know, invoke 45, before you tell me that if I don't get born again, I'm going to go to hell. Um, first of all, you're condemning yourself through your own scripture immediately by telling anybody that. So I think you need to go back to the books. Um, <clears throat> I, I've worn sandals for about three years now, full time. I don't wear shoes anymore. I don't own any gold, I don't have any jewelry, I don't own a watch. Um, I've tried to humble myself as much as possible and learn to love the people that I hate. Okay, The people that I most hated in life I have, I have actually become friends with. Uh, it, it, it changes a part of you. Um, but I'm going to tell you something, it talks about the broken vessel of clay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you right now, I want you to look at that arm. Okay. Uh, that arm had 16 pieces of bone. From one bullet, I had 16 pieces of bone. Um, I had 27 pieces of shrapnel from the bullet. Uh, an inch or two down, I would have lost my arm. An inch or two up, I would have lost my arm. Uh, it took uh, six men five and a half hours to rebuild my arm. Uh, I've had two back surgeries, and in all that, I have never lost uh, faith in my father. I've never said... Um, you know, what the hell are you doing to my life, okay? Uh, when I found out my first wife, who was a Jehovah's Witness, you know, pu pushing me to be a minister within within that group, you know, and, I, and I'm, you know, I could go into all day about that stuff, but, um, you know, my favorite book is Job. And uh, one of the things I routinely have noticed throughout of all the religions that I've been in is they heavily favor certain scriptures and they always lock you into it. So I, I actually read the whole Bible. I've, I've read the New Testament many times. Uh, you know, I've forgotten a lot of it because, you know, I've just read, you know, there's always something new to be learned from anything that you read, okay? Now, the Word was God and the God was the Word, right? Well, the Word is the Word, okay? It's the Logos. It's the printed, it, it's the Word. It's, it's learning. Now, um, if you're not out, if you're sitting in, in one book or one particular version of your Bible, then you're succumbing to, to men. You are what, what they've always wanted. You're, you're the dream sheep, okay? Uh, you know, it, it's just, there's a lot to it. You know, uh, you know, there's other books by apostles that have been left out. There's, there's books that, that, that talk about men, you know, supposedly that were Enoch. I mean, there's, there is so much more to just 
and they're not even 66 books. If you if you do any studying, you're going to find that they've split letters. Uh, you know, uh, all of you Christians that are waiting for a rapture, okay, it's in Thessalonians 2. It's one line where it says, uh, you know, you're going to be taken up into the air. That's all it says. It doesn't say you're going to heaven or that you're going to be taken care of. It doesn't say anything. Your, your rapture is from a little girl in Scotland from a church who one day had a dream and they incorpor incorporated it into theology, which is God mingling. Theo is God, ology, it's mingling, God mingling. So I'm a purist in, in, the, in the purest sense is that I, I don't think I know anything. I keep studying. I don't, I don't trust anybody. Um, a huge thing, the King James Version, okay? There's a difference between an addition and a, and a version, okay? Uh, an addition is where they, they update it. And they want to say that there's just many editions of uh, the Bible of King James Version. There are many, many versions, okay? I own, personally, I've got like 11 of them or some crazy amount. Uh, I, I even, you know, go other places where I'm not going to tell you, where I even look at even older books. They're, they're, all, they're all slowly trying to make it more okay with some of the things they say. I, I just think that you're, you know, if you can't talk to other people about who they are and what they are and, and respect them, you can't really begin to understand yourself or what you're looking for okay there is a very simple message for though you know you can toss away almost all of it if you love everybody I'm pretty sure if you go read the book if you love everybody there are no laws okay and and if you keep the Ten Commandments which all have to do with love if you truly love somebody you're not gonna go steal their stuff you're not gonna have envy you're not gonna be jealous so it's sad for me, but I'm going to give you a little bit of my background, okay? In this university, I got there as a Jehovah's Witness, and uh, I started debating with the Christians, and the Christians told me, well, you know, those Jehovah Witnesses don't really like to debate, okay? They don't, they don't, when it gets time to get into the book, they don't want to do it. But we do, we're going to get into it. Now, when they gave me all their information, which I was already a boarding in Christian before, and you know I, I I respect the words of Jesus Christ, okay, which is Yahshua ben Yosef. I enjoy, and Christ again means anointed. I enjoy reading His work, okay. I love Him. He's I've I've wanted to die several times in my life. During the time my grandmother, the most loved person in my life, took many many months to die, and and I was planning to kill myself right after she passed away. Except guess what? I met my wife, and here I am today talking to you. Now, um, gosh, I lost my train of thought. But, but, but in these scriptures, okay, there are questions that need to be answered. There are, there are things that, that they talk about. Okay, one of my first videos that's not on there anymore is the missing books of the Bible. So some of you have just come along recently. I've taken off, I've made 70 videos, okay? I, I've taken most of them off. Okay, I, I was looking for a couple real people. No one, no one's ever written me back about any of the stuff I put out. Okay, um, there's there's over like 22 missing books that are referenced that are referenced in the Old Testament, in the New Testament. If these books are referenced, why are they not there, and where are they, for that matter? There's more questions than there are answers, okay? And for all of you people that are locked into something and that you're you're judging people, listen, you're doomed. You're doomed, period, because you're never going to grow as a person, okay? When you when you love your enemy, okay, you listen to him. You figure out where he's coming from. You may not like it. You may not agree with him, but you you deal with where he's coming from. And, and the people, the, the 15 people, or no, it's, I think it's almost 20. My subscriptions have not gone down, by the way. They've gone up. But the, the 25 people that left me, okay, all of you are, or I guess they're not looking, so it doesn't matter. But they're afraid to take a hard look at what surrounds them, especially something that you're going to follow. I don't follow any man on this planet, okay? I don't fear any man, okay? I understand that death is at my doorstop, okay? I know that, and by the way, if I'm going to go to hell, I am willing to go to hell to be able to try to find the truth. I am more worried not about my death, but about making this life right. I want to do the best that I can and find out what is at the end of this journey. But the journey is living it. 
And if I only half live it, if I only sit in a box, I'm never going to get it. I've got to give my all. I've got to read as hard as possible. I've got to, you know, decipher words. Again, theology. Why don't you just, if you just trace back theology, you'll hear, understand it says God mingling. So here's my thing. If, if the Bible is in the English language, am I allowed to look at dictionaries? Am I allowed to trace back language through dictionaries? Well, I did. Now, that tells you something. When you do that, when you take the effort not to just follow, not to assume a man is smarter than you or a woman is smarter than you, but you take the time. Your life is what we're talking about here, not my life. Okay, I know where I'm at. I, I've, I've lived with persecution. Okay, uh, that gets me back to my other point. <clears throat> at UCLA, I, I so I, I got out of being a Jehovah's Witness. I got back into Christianity, but I kept studying, and then I started finding things. And as I started finding things, and uh, and, and these are also spiritual things where I. I constantly bump into people because I have an open mind, and, and it's weird. The weirdest thing is that they're, they always end up talking about something that I'm actually studying at that moment. Not last week, not before, but right at that moment. So I'm going to follow whatever this is that's leading me, and, and I'm going to pray for truth. Okay, and I'm going to pray for justice, I'm going to pray for peace, and I'm going to try to live it. Okay, I'm not going to pray to a statue. Okay, I, I, I am not going to idolize Christ. I'm going to try to be like Christ. There's a huge difference in that. And I, I think that most of you, or probably the ones that left, are stuck in idol worship. Okay, I, I have a living God. Okay, if you live that living God, then you've got to live it. And, and this is going to be my point with that. Christ says that you can be exactly like him. Now, what did he do? He did miracles and he did a lot of stuff, right? Well, if you look at your New Testament, that's exactly what he says. <clears throat> he says, you can be like me. If you look in your book hard enough, you'll also find that you can forgive people for their sins and take them on. Anybody can. Okay? So I've done that. So, uh, you know, I live my life like Job. I, I, I understand that this place is, is full of lessons. <clears throat> it's what you do with those in a positive manner that make you a better person and show you more. Now... You know, I don't know where I'm going to be going with all this. I don't, you know, I, I don't know where life is going to lead me, okay? All I know is that uh, there's been three months where I couldn't walk. Uh, I've almost lost my arm. And uh, <clears throat> at UCLA, when, when, before, I, before I got shot, because I was going crazy, absolutely. Uh, when you first get the whole picture of this earth, because I've connected the dots, I see the whole picture here on earth. When you connect it and you see the entire system and its many, many evil facets that are upon you, okay, they're upon you as well as me, you know, you go insane. <clears throat> there ain't no two ways about it. <clears throat> I am not talking to you guys about a ton of the stuff that I know because it, it, it's a journey of work, not of laziness, okay? If you're lazy and you're just going to keep thinking and thinking that that, that that book right there is all there is to this, then, then you've been misled. It tells you in your book... Okay? that there is a great delusion. So in your arrogance, you assume, you assume that the delusion is everybody else instead of you. Okay, The delusion is for you until you wake up. Okay, I feel like I'm talking to Howell today, by the way. Uh, but, you know, wake up to learning, okay? You know... Again, I've, there's a hard-headed guy that I talk to where he's one of these guys. Anyway, the, the bottom line at UCLA, oh, I shouldn't, sorry, I said UCLA, but, you know, for most people, I am crazy and I'm a laughing stock. You know, they'll talk to me about my aluminum foil head and they'll, they'll talk to me all this stuff. Listen, they can laugh all they want, okay, when they realize that I've told them all the truth. And that's not that I've told them who God is and what the scriptures are, because I'm not going to do that. But I have told them what I have found, be it about food about the poison food, be it about the fluoride, be it about, um, <clears throat> you know, our borders, uh, you know, you know how, you know, President Bush and, and the presidents of Canada and Mexico have signed on. There's a North American security pact, you know, all these things. I told them, look, they've signed our whole life away and nobody listens to me. Okay. It's a whole picture. So if you sit there and you just think that you can walk around blind and judge everybody else, or if you don't like what you hear, you just run away, then you're not made for what's coming, okay? And that, that would also mean your kingdom that you're looking for. Because he's not looking for, uh, you know, being meek doesn't mean being weak, okay? There's, you need to start looking at what words mean, okay? Being meek is being humble. 
okay? That means that's not being prideful. Now that doesn't mean not being prideful and proud of a good job that you do, but it's being arrogant enough to think you know who you are to judge. You don't know anything. I don't know anything. And, and I, I just hope you keep that in mind. Uh, again, this person that just told me I'm going to go to hell. See, I've been through this with everybody. I've already been excommunicated out of my family as far as religion. They're all Catholics, okay? I've been down the road of leaving the Jehovah Witness. Uh, Born-again Christians, they all look at me like I'm the devil now, okay? You guys need to wake up, okay? Because if you take the time to look at what words mean, you will find something and a road to go on. And that's why I came here to talk to people. That doesn't mean that there's not a God, okay? Just because you find a mistake somewhere doesn't mean that there's not a thread of truth. So if you really love God, don't ever give up. I promise you, you will not be let down, okay? That's about the best I can do. But I've taken on a lot of sins for a lot of people, and I expect to stay here. I don't expect to leave. And I'm not worried about it because you know what? I'm going to try to do the best I can till the very last day of my breath. And that's what I'm going to give to this world. And for you to judge me, you judge yourself. And I'm trying to help you with that, man. You know, I used to blow up and just get frustrated, man. You can talk to people and you can talk to people and they don't understand, okay? They just don't. And I'm not talking to the people that don't. I'm talking to the one person here. If I reach the one person who knows, hey, it's time to get in the books and learn something, then I've accomplished what I've set out to do, and that's that's tell the truth. Okay, and I'm going to give you my full name, and, I'll, and if you care to do so, look it up, and you tell me what kind of person I am. Because I'll tell you, my name says what who I am. Eric Vincent Trigg. Okay, and for all you sickos and trolls, just leave me alone, man. I, I've had so much stress and problems in my life. I'm trying to do the best I can, okay? Uh, I'm not always a good person. I've got a bad temper. There's a lot to me that, you know, is, not, is imperfect. I am imperfect, okay? But that does not mean that I can't strive for perfection and honesty, truth, and integrity. And that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to be honest, you know, as far as I can be because I lack knowledge. But there's not a man on this planet that doesn't. Okay, <clears throat> you know they say Da Vinci. You know he at his time he was able to know everything on Earth, but there's so many nuances to things that you know you have to go through a lot of this stuff to know. So when my arm got shot, okay, my clay was broken. You should get the the correlation to that, okay? So when you say born again, you know I was I was baptized with my arm getting broken, okay? That was the realization because I'll tell you without going into detail about how I was ready to kill myself. Um, I literally had two young children, and I, I said, God, if I don't change my ways right now, okay, <clears throat> I'm going to destroy everything that I have that you've given me. I told him, I said, do anything that you have to do, anything besides killing me and allow me to still work, give me any kind of pain that you have to, and, and you know, just keep me alive, give me the lesson, and guess what? I got shot a week later. And again, I'll tell you, I did not have any nerve damage, okay? Uh, the bone exploded. It didn't hurt. It didn't hurt the muscles around it. Okay, my my first surgery, which was a you know, a guy that was you know back in the dark ages, he messed me up. Not the bullet. Okay, I went through ten days where no no pain medication would take away the pain. Absolutely no. I cried so much that I had no tears. Okay, the only thing that made me feel better was singing. Okay, and and, and if you know what I'm talking about, then you know what I'm talking about. Okay, the, the things that I'm putting out are not for everybody to understand, okay? I know that you all ridicule me. I know a lot of people make fun of me. I don't care. I don't care, okay? What I care about is that one individual, if you're in, say, the Nazi movement, if you're in the Black National Party, if, you're, if someone's teaching you to hate, if they're breeding hate into you, I'm telling you, man, it's the wrong way to be, okay? And there's an avenue out, and that's, that's to take the time to be a better person, get into the books, quit being lazy, okay? It's all around you, man. I mean, if you're awake, you should be able to see the system. I, I see the system, okay? I've made two small videos about it. I took them off. It's up to you to decide who I am and what I'm about. Much love to you guys. I appreciate your time, and I really do appreciate you, uh, you know, allowing me to talk to you. Uh, for the one brother that I, I said, hey, if you're a man, you'll listen to this video. I already knew you were a man, and that's why I said it, because you're the only one that came and said something to me. The other person, out, out, of, out of 25, one condemned me and one said, hey, I'm going a different road. The one that said he was going on a different road, I appreciate you as a human being and I thank you for being honest with me. The other person just condemned me and the rest just ran. Good luck to everybody and much love.